over here right now for construction. Interesting. Clouds of different heights and colors. face facade there. Just more paneling on the outside of this building. Resort Main Entrance Plaza, Gateway to Disneyland Park, Disney California Adventure Park, and the Downtown Disney District. Today, just to kind of see what it was like, give our you know kind of full take on it. You know, once we're done with the day, we'll do a, like a mini review here, and then probably another day we'll do a full review video. Just once we've kind of collected our thoughts and had time to analyze it a bit more. But preliminarily, it seems like it's pretty convenient. It would be nice for just included with admission. But what it does add for ten dollars, you get to basically pick your fast pass from your phone. You don't actually walk up to the booth. Although I do like the paper tickets. But what you also get is unlimited uh, like photos for the day that you get to download. So all those ride photos, photo pass photographers too. Now for ten dollars, it's not too bad. Although you know everyone in your party has to have to have that for them to get the fast pass too. I suppose one person can get that, and the other person can get paper. But that doesn't make a ton of sense. If one person's walking, you're all walking. Anyway, we're gonna head off to uh, Fantasyland, see how those rides are. We wound up getting a fast pass for Radiator Springs since that always takes a long time. See you over there. Welcome to Toad Park. Yeah, 
land specific, like I like how in queer country, I remember around Christmas they have, you know, woodland kind of themed decorations and Main Street's all glitzed up, you know, that's what it does. Anyway, I also like good old Headless Horseman over there, he looks really cool at night. Anyway, off to Radiator Springs. Like when we were in line, it started to get kind of smoky, and now it's really come out. We saw, I'll probably just put in a shot of the line over there. You can see the ash falling, it's kind of starting to envelop the area over by Mickey's Fun Wheel there. You know, all the way, like pretty much covering Radiator Springs. And uh, I was gonna say Tower of Terror, which were Tower of Terror, I'm wearing my Tower of Terror shirt actually. The Guardians of the Galaxy over there. The other way is still fine for now. Jewel looked up information. I think the fire is in Anaheim Hills, so, you know, obviously close to Anaheim. So, we'll see how it goes. Then we'll probably get some lunch, although it is an outdoor area. We'll eat fast. Hopefully, Ash won't fall on our food. Anyway, let's go. Doing a quick pit stop first. I should see Julie's running off. We need to get our World of Color Fast Pass, which we forgot to get though. Partially, and this is kind of a critique of the Max Pass, is you can't get those show fast passes on there. So I didn't see Fantasmic on there or World of Color. So you still you still need to get the paper fast pass. It would be nice if they could implement that for the system. So Julie and I are gonna eat here at the Pacific Wharf Cafe. Okay, so <laughs> we actually were lucky to find a space inside the bread area to eat lunch at. Julie got the clam chowder, and I guess I'm just actually kind of on the secret menu because it's not listed, but it will show up on the receipt. So, got the uh, 
some mac and cheese bowl or bowl. I don't know what the full thing is, but yeah. There we go. Z name. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll tell you how it is after. Of course. Drinks and they have a bunch of fun Halloween stuff on it. Candy corn. I love candy corn. Yeah. Okay, Harmless. <laughs> Okay, well, we have finished our lunch. I believe we finished, right? Oh, um, yeah, I'm calling it. <laughs> okay, how did you like your prime shot? You've had it before, right? Yeah, I had it a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. 2012, uh, 2012. Wow, whoa, dating myself. 2002, <laughs> when uh, California Adventure first opened, I came with some family. I remember this part of the park being a little bit different the dining area. There was definitely the bakery, might have been a different name. Um, but I, we got my family and we got a Red Bull chair. It was okay, you know. I, it felt a little, a little different this time. It wasn't as warm as I was expecting it to be, but it's still good. I wouldn't rush over there for it, to be honest. But it's still good for what it is. And my, uh, my good cheese party. She pretty much cleaned it out. I love when I was trying to let you scoop out the edges. Like, I'm up with a spoon. Now it is. It is a Red Bull, so by the side, that's to be expected. Um, good. Uh, Price value is not as good though. It's ten ninety nine. And when you think about it, you get fish and chips for nine ninety nine. I mean obviously you're gonna get that. That's a bunch more uh, value in there, but it's a good for a change. It's nothing out of this world, but solid. So we decided that our next fast pass could we were able to get another one will be for Haunted Mansion Holiday later. We're still waiting for our Space Mountain one to uh, come do. to come due, yes. But I was thinking like I was talking to Julie just before I turned this on. Like, I'm enjoying the Max Pass experience so far, but it is really buggy. Like, it keeps, like, losing connection with my pass. I have to, like, close the app and everything. So, you know, really, it has a few issues, and it really has a few bugs. To work out. Uh-huh. Yeah, for some reason, I have to keep logging into mine, and, you know, I mean, I know why. It's security, but it's still tedious, you know, when I have a... Well, I don't have to log in. It just, like, loses my pass. It, like, I... it's logged in. It has my profile, but it, like, doesn't have my, my pass annual connected. pass. Connected so, yeah. And this is on two different uh, phones. I have an Android, and Julie has a, an iPhone, so... I know. I've, I still have iOS 10. Point well, still, like, it's separate platforms, but we're having issues, both of us, so... Mm. Fair enough. And we tried like on the Disney Wi-Fi, on Which I could on, never get yeah, on data and everything too. So, but yeah, but the Six Flags Wi-Fi works. I don't even know. But <laughs> we're not even gonna talk about that right now. Wrong park. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna try to go ahead. Uh, we, we, we were gonna go on Little Mermaid, but then we saw a mass of people coming out, like a school of fish, actually. A max Exodus. <laughs> yeah, like a shark behind him or anything. But it really was the ride. It just uh, broken down. No, don't get me cleaning. <laughs> For your safety, remain seated with the doors closed, keeping your hands, arms,